Oh, thanks, darling. My daughter, look, look at my grilled cheese. <gasps> it's stunning. Hi, I'm Kate Langbrook. I'm the host of Channel 9's My Mum, Your Dad. It's a very good show, despite my involvement. And today we are going to go on a little trawl through my Instagram account. Isn't it all self-promotion? Isn't it all? Oh, no idea. <laughs> but I've just fallen in love with me, so I didn't follow my own advice. Oh, my husband and me at the statue, Netuna in Bologna. We relocated our family there in 2019, initially for one year, and it was so great. We decided to stay for two years, and the second year was 2020. I don't know if you know much about recent history, but 2020 took an unexpected turn, especially in Italy, in the north of Italy where we were living. But it was still the most brilliant two years. It was the hardest thing we've ever done, really. I mean, it's kind of hard because you don't know what you would have been otherwise, do you? But even before the world went into lockdown, we had kind of gone into a form of lockdown with each other when we moved to the other side of the world, to a town where we didn't know anyone, to a country where we didn't know anyone, where we didn't speak the language. I ended up loving lockdown and in fact, I miss it just that the time aspect of it and the waking up in the morning going what do i have to do today oh the same as i did yesterday F all <laughs> like that just never happens you know life is so exhausting yes yes because lewis had leukemia when he was younger when he was six and it was f like four years of treatment very intensive treatment I never thought that I would get to see him at 17. I always believed that I would, but knew that I might not, you know? And so every birthday is just majestic. And that was one of them. My goodness, no, that was actually in France. Yeah, I don't want to be a Europhile, but we had gone to France for the summer holidays. We had 12 weeks and we had a craving for Asian food, which you can't get in Italy. Peter said to the guy who um, ran the, the Asian supermarket in Bologna, notice I say the Asian supermarket, there was like one. Peter went, oh, he's Vietnamese. I'm gonna ask him where we can get some Vietnamese, good Vietnamese food. And he said to us, go to Paris. We're like, we're in Italy. And we ate at this little Vietnamese restaurant and it was just like being back in Australia. Not quite as good as here actually, to be honest, but it was beautiful. And then they gave me that ring. Oh yes, yes, my new show. Well, it's a dating show for grown-ups, really grown-ups because they all have grown-up children, but unbeknownst to them, their children are nearby spying on them and actually seeing everything they do as they embark on their quest for love. And it's so compelling, confronting, funny, raw, heart moving, and um, intriguing. It's just, it's, it's a really um, special show, I think. Oh, well, I've kind of lost interest in it lately. I've kind of lost interest in Instagram a bit. I like it to be a bit more truthful, I think. But I also do love it and I love seeing just what people are up to and the different things that people think to post.